So today, we're gonna do a fun surf-themed project for our beach house. Here's the problem. So this is our screen door. Now, I like having a screen door because, you know, we live right next to the beach, so we've got this great 70 degree breeze most of the year, uh, and this keeps, you know, flies and stuff from coming in the house. However, uh, okay, so what? this is fine right now. Like, it's closing and opening, but that's because I just had to fix it. If you look up here, can you see that? Oh, that'd be like right there. Yeah, see that metal strip that I had to do? This was coming apart right here. And so it was separating and the whole thing stopped opening and closing. Now also, it's pretty, but it's kind of boring. And so what we're gonna do is reinforce the door by screwing in a piece of quarter inch plastic all the way across. Uh, and that's gonna keep it, you know, so it doesn't skew and doesn't come apart. And also we're gonna make it look really, really cool by doing an art project. So watch this. And we're gonna draw out our design, but to do it and make sure that it's uh, to scale, I'm using graph paper, you can see those little squares. So what we're gonna do is measure the door and then draw a scaled down replica of the door shape. And then I will draw my design on this and we'll transfer it to the actual plastic. So the thing is with doorways, and specifically with our doorway, it is not completely square. So like the top is a little bit wider than the bottom. If you follow it and you can see that it's, I had to trim the screen door to get it to fit. So what we need to do is measure accurately uh, to get the width at the top and then the width at the bottom. Liam, can you hold this on the bottom of the door, please? Put it right there at the bottom. Get it? Yeah. yeah. Well, 33 and 3 quarters to be accurate. And 34 and a quarter. So it's a half inch difference. All right, so after measuring the door, we drew out the door in scale. So this is one square equals two inches, or I guess four square inches. So that is the current door frame. And now what we're gonna do is design something. And what I'm kind of envisioning is like a, like a wave kind of situation and somebody getting tubed so that they, but I want the design to overlap as many of these cross braces as possible so that it will create structure just like you know you would if you had a giant X or you know just a piece of plastic over there. And then we're gonna have create a lot of negative space where you can still see through the screen. The positive space will be filled in by the plastic to create uh, a great kind of structural thing, but also a really artistic thing. Now they sell some, the most artistic ones that I saw that were beachy were palm trees. So it's kind of had a palm tree, you know, here and there and whatnot. It was cool. They are really expensive. And I just thought I could do that myself. And so thankfully the door is falling apart and it's making me actually follow through and finish this project. So uh, here we go, let's draw. All right, so let's go with a kind of long board shape down low. Cause I'm more of a long border, so. Getting the angle on the surfboard is kind of tough. Let's, that's better. I like um, mechanical pencils a lot for drawing, and then these erasers are super handy. So you can really erase what you want. So, so I'm gonna have to just kind of sketch lightly, and then I'll go over it once I'm confident with the way I have it. Get that kind of spoon shape that a longboard has. There we go. And the wave will be kind of covering up part of the board, so that makes, that makes sense to me. And then the wave would take over maybe here. Let's, get, let's put a person on it, that'll help give me some scale. And I need the person to be kind of tall. So, and it's kind of far back, because it's a long board, so go. Let's draw a foot. Back legs are kind of funny when you're surfing. Crouched legs are just in general kind of tricky to draw. Let's see here. I'm gonna go calf. Let's do the front leg first. A regular foot, so we'll go. Gonna cut my idea here is kind of like a stand-up barrel, like a pretty big one. So let's go. Now of course you're gonna need a kind of tucked in shoulders, so God, you know what? Let's do just do an arm into the wave, that'd be good. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I feel like it, this person's standing up a little tall, but I'm trying to get, get their chest bent over on them. Man, there's no feeling like trailing your hand into a wave. It's, it's just amazing. So the shoulders gonna be lower. Kind of like if it was me, I'd have my hand down. So, okay, I like the person. Uh, the board's gonna, it's gonna be a little tricky to fit it. 
Maybe if I turn the board toward me to get, because it's going to look really short now. Like that'd be a good short, short board wave shape, but I'd be at the back of the board. So the more board would be sticking out this way. But the problem is we got to fit it on the door. So let's turn the board this way a little bit and try that. So this is the front of the board. Oh no, we'd have to be a little higher. Well, wait a minute. Maybe the board gets cut off a little, that'd be okay. Which is so funny because they are really long and then as you turn them they become, you know, more narrow looking. So even, even a big, you know, I read like a 9.2, uh, nine but it would look small on the right angle, you know? Alright, so let's get a head on here. Um, just do a general head for now. Right scale wise, so neck. And of course, we'll do some muscles. I want it to be accurate. No, like to be my surf god body. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna need to thin out this arm, I think, to give that perspective. Oh, it's a little too big. You've got a foot on the end of your arm. That's not, not ideal. Alright, let's try that again fix that as we go. Okay, so let's say that that looks good to start. We need to narrow the board here at the end. Now that'll help it look longboardy, giving it that nice tail. Alright, so now what we need to do is get that the shape of the wave. So if I've got my hand in it, then it's going to need to be tubing. Of course, the tube is smaller, you know, in the back, and then gets bigger as it goes out, so... I mean, if you're really getting shocked, it'd be basically just completely closed in the back, but... we got to leave some negative space here for the, the deal, so I'm, here's what I'm thinking. We go a little bit more cartoony, not, like, totally realistic on this, so almost like big, you know, for it kind of way businesses. And obviously, you know, in a real one, it would be continuing like this. Do it a little different. Um, I don't know, it's too far forward or something. It's not quite. Let's see. So eye level is kind of like right around here. So we don't want to block too much of that space. I'm just sucking on the real door. So maybe we do more like a. Part of me wonders if it, and I know it's a little bit more just of a design than and less of a realistic thing, but if we do something more like, like a couple of those. Or maybe more like stripey bits, like what if I had, if that did sort of go across, and then we had, yeah that'll work, if we did like big open gaps, that might work. I just want to close that barrel a little bit more. And then we get his head shape from some back, like almost like the sun shining through the wave. Yeah, that'd be cool. What if it was like... Oh, that, I, like that. I like that idea. So this is negative space that you can see through, but it's like that light shining through this, uh, or something, yeah, that'd be cool. And then it meets down here somehow, so let's see, positive space is coming, his arm. have this like white let's see so we have a positive space so we want some darkness here but then there's gonna be a big foam ball here so it'd be kind of like I want to join up into that yeah that would work no 
Now, for this to be positive space, we're going to need to create some definition there. This is... Okay, so that will be cut out. But I want this to be cut out too, so we're going to need, like, a, maybe a reflection? That could work. I feel like this could be a little wider. It's opening up here, partly just to make the door, you know, easier to see through. I feel like we're going to lose a little bit of his arm shape because this line is going to need to continue, but that's okay. Because you kind of pick it up there. I think that works out. Now, what I was saying was this needs to be cut out, so that's the dark part of the wave. But it's also going to have a bit of a reflection, I would imagine. If we've got reflection here, you're going to have reflection here, so we can... Yeah, that's what we'll do. Well, well that'd be the reflection of the guy, if there's all that light behind him, so... And of course it's distorted by the water. Or maybe, no, 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 I know what I want to do. This is totally what I'll do. Let's just cut out some slits and stripes. And honestly, it doesn't really matter if that's covered. Oh, but I'm trying to get some negative space here. So yeah, that's fine. Um, and just for the sake of structure to this, let's get that to go all the way across to the... Round those out a little bit too. So in that case, we're gonna have something like that. Wow, the only thing is, I feel like I'm switching what's dark and what's light. Like this is negative space; it's light. This is negative space; it's light. He would be dark. The board could be dark or light. Um, this space would be it would really be light though because of that. So it'd be like dark here dark here. So I think what I need is this to be positive space. But I just I want to keep that board. So maybe if I widen this a little bit. If I came up and back, then I could connect it here. That works. And then, and then that's all cut out, so then I just need to change the angle on these guys a little bit. Which, is, which would make more sense with the water. There we go, I like that. Now, I think we'll put a couple more in here just to make it consistent. So, if that's the light space being cut away, it's gonna... This line will be... He's gonna be there. This is gonna be there. So we want it to connect, and it's now going to connect here. And it's going to disconnect. Where am I make it disconnect? So let's let's do something like that. Oh, I love it, dude! That that looks great. Okay, so. Negative, negative, and negative up here. That looks good. Um, and then I think to create a little more space up here, I could either create a little more negativity. Yeah, that's good. That would look really cool. We'll do. That's awesome. Okay, so that is our door. And then the door handle is something like here. And. That's gonna look pretty cool. I think it's gonna look really cool. So let's just finalize some details here. All right, so hand-wise, because this is our kind of only, I'll draw, you know, obviously. If I can freehand this, I can do something similar on the door itself, but the less lines and erasing we have on there, the cleaner it's gonna come out, so. Try to get my muscular bulk, you know, <laughs> appropriate. So you've got some kind of lat muscles there, and then I'm skinny right now, so I'm going to make that adjustment there. Rib cage and pecs. Now see, I have long hair. 
but I think that, let's just assume it's pulled back because I think that the silhouette of a head is gonna be better than something really specific to me, so. And that line needs to come there and then this one then, which means this, these will all go away. These details go away. This does stay. Sketching details go away. All right, that looks good. Let's see here, I lost my door frame, but it goes here. Okay, this is negative space, so you will see, wait a minute. Yeah, negative space, so you will see the door frame here. It'll go away here, which is good. That'll give me lots to screw into. I'll be like, screw it in there. Yeah, you will see there, but you won't see it here. So again, more a good place to screw into. Screw into. I'll lose it there. I would basically lose all of that, which is great. We'll get our door frame back. We'll have a door frame here. Positive space here. Positive space. All right, now let's, this part's a little harder to imagine. So that's cut out, okay, this stays. So you would see a door frame here, which means we would lose kind of that. And then you will see a door frame here, but you will lose it here and all in here. Nope, that is incorrect. It's the other way around. That's why drawing it out is helpful. Okay. So we do have a door frame here. And we do have a door frame here. And we don't have it there. And we don't have it there. We'll lose it here. Okay, and we'll lose it here. That'll be nice. It's gonna look really good. And we'll definitely see door frame here. And here. Which means this basically goes away. Cool. I mean, that's a lot of material, which as far as like structurally making the door better is gonna be a lot, and then I think there's enough negative to make that really look cool. Part of me wants to... The thing is, you're not going to see his hand, and I'd like to see his hand. But the only way to do that... would be to put more light there, and there wouldn't be more light there. So we're going to lose the hand. I think that'll be okay. Well, the other way I could do it... Yeah, that'll work. If I widen this up a little bit... Look at that. I like the hand I have there better four better, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Now, you're gonna lose his feet. Those will be gone on the board. That's okay, because feet aren't the easiest thing to draw anyway. Let's go ahead and... All right, let's work our way down. So I like the way this looks. If there were board shorts, they'd be about like there. Board shorts would hang just above the knee. to get that like a deeper crouch here. It's... Hmm, what's going on over here? Let's see, we're gonna have I feel like the end of this board isn't quite right. Longboards are so hard to draw. There we go, that'll work. Alright, you got some good visibility all through in there. I mean, I'm really happy with the way it looks. For being such a tall, long space, I feel like that's good. I, like, obviously, I'd, 
I mean, it's a big stand-up barrel. I've yet to ride one quite that big. Uh, but, you know, so I feel like I should be crouched down more, but at the same time, I got to fill up this huge space, and I think that is a good way to do it. So I think we're good. Um, I'm pleased with the way that came out. So positive space, negative space, and I really like the way this allows the light to come through, and I feel like I have that on this side. I don't really have that here. Um, so I think I'm gonna maybe design this to be a let a little bit more visibility in there as well as uh, just be a little bit clearer of a design. So I think I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit. So let's just. than I thought I would. Yeah, what if I connected that? I really just liked it better before. Shoot. All right, I think that works. I widened it too much, that's what happened. I need to close it up a little bit. Better. All right, well, I think that's it. Uh, I think I like that better. I don't know, I don't remember. I remember liking the other thing and not, I'm not sure about this, but whatever, I'm gonna just go with it. I think I can make it work. Okay, after standing back and looking at it, which is something you should always do when you draw anything, I feel like his arm is too high. Um, I'm gonna lower it, because I feel like if that was me, I, I would be crouched, and even though I know it's more of a stand-up barrel, um, I think that arm just needs to go down a little bit, so let's do that, and I think that will allow me to have the hand a little bit more clearly too, which is something I'd like to do, so I'm gonna just reimagine it as a surfer. If that were me, and I was crouching and putting my hand in the wave, it would probably be a little bit lower. Perspective is hard to do. The arm's getting smaller as it goes back. more bent. Okay. That ended up in like the same place. That's funny. Yeah, and for me, my hand would be more like waved out than up. Uh, I guess it'd be kind of both. It's just hard to... I don't know. I think I like that better. Alright, I know that's a lot of tweaks and changes, but I want it to look good. I think that's what I got. Get out, curb appeal. What, what? This is from inside, uh, and it definitely looks good. 